Okay, uh, this is just a quick video about a couple of scriptures that are in the Bible. Revelation 6 verse 14 And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And so Christ said obviously that yes islands would be moved out of their places um, just as it was in the days of Noah so it will be in the days of the sun coming of the son of man and also we see in jeremiah 25 32 king james bible thus saith the lord of hosts behold evil shall go forth from nation to nation and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth okay so this is a word that's been confirmed to me several times now it doesn't mean to say that god will uh drown the earth again or the inhabitants of the earth as he did in the days of Noah so you know there's a lot of things happened during the days of Noah um, people's hearts were hardened towards God um, people even though they probably had a form of godliness they denied the power they were committing all types of sin um, not not just uh, sexual sin but the spiritual sin a whole number of sins they were basically breaking God's commandments um, and at that time obviously humanity would have been far closer um, to God because there would have been a knowledge of God from Adam and Eve um, there would have only been probably about what just over a thousand or so years over a thousand years um, to that actual event from from Adam and Eve so I think that the knowledge of God would have been still in the earth uh, excuse me and so yes there has been many people I've spoken to that have had dreams that they're, the city that they're staying in um, is going to be like tsunami which is different from completely drowning all the peoples of the earth but there is going to be a coastal event as it says in <clears throat> Jeremiah 25 32 okay there's going to be a coastal event that's going to happen. It's going to be part of the end times um, scenario. And uh, every island moved out of their place. And it was in the days of Noah. It was said that the continents were far closer together. Continental drift obviously happened after um, the flood of Noah. And this is why the continents... You can see that, you know, that this uh, South America would have fitted in here somewhere. Um, you can see there's a rough sort of a, a joining there of, of the lands here. Maybe this island here maybe belongs in here. Maybe geologists can confirm certain parts of the land which, which belong uh, to other parts. And so, yes, um, I think that it's God's plan. I mean, obviously, we're talking about CERN, we're talking about people including myself having dreams of Australia moving north which it obviously has you know islands moving out of their place okay um, this Sicily being moved small islands here Rhode Island different islands being moved out of their place and continents being moved okay now if this is CERN that's doing this I don't know but I think ultimately ultimately um, they might be doing it for their own reasons but ultimately I think is God's plan for uh, this to happen and so you know those that are denying the Mandela effect whatever you want to call it I don't I don't mind what you call it the quantum effect you know these things were shown to me like uh, when I was born again baptized now how they're doing it I'm not entirely sure but I think that it involves um, angelic powers which uh, unless you're actually from heaven you you you, you know you've you, you've been to heaven you, you don't know the extent of, of the power of God you don't know the extent of the uh, that God is obviously able to do this but what we're seeing is that is, is CERN in Switzerland involved in doing this you know a lot of people have speculated this and some Christians are even calling it the, the Jesus effect they're not calling it the Mandela effect anymore because they themselves have saw many changes um, geographically um, historically uh, certain many things that they've seen that God has shown them yes you know they, they weren't like this before 
and so I think that this is yes, it's just began. You know, if we're in the the, the first of of the seven years of the the, the last seven years, then you can guarantee um, maybe like a little bit down the line uh, in a year or two. How, what's the earth going to look like next year or on a, or a couple of years? So. Uh, Yes, um, I do think there is some some type of you might call it an agenda. I don't know, but I think it's ultimately it's God's plan to bring the continents together, just as it was in the days of Noah, and because there was no continental drift during that time. And so, yes, you know, I've got scriptures there that speak about this, and uh, you know, I hope it strikes a few chords in people you know truthful chords and the fact that it should be waking people up that we're in the last days and you should stop um, seeking your own will um, stop trying to exalt your, your own agenda your own self and start realizing that there's a lot of things that's just not been shown to you not explained to you you haven't sought God enough and you know I've made quite a lot of videos obviously like I speak to people and you know, I I sort of get get a word from God to make a video. This is not about anyone in particular. Don't 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 get all like uh, upset, like I'm picking on someone or whatever. This is just a general video for all Christians to be to be woken up and take these things to prayer. All right, thanks a lot, guys, for listening. May the Lord bless you.